Hey guys, welcome to a boss guide. <laughs> I don't know how else to do this. It's unscripted, so it is what it is. Uh, basically, I'm doing an Elden Ring playthrough where I'm going to be teaching people how to fight every unique boss in Elden Ring. I know a lot of new players just got the game for the holidays, as well as there's a lot of people that are struggling with bosses in this game. I did just start this brand new character. As you can see, I started as a warrior because I have two scimitars and I have the base stats. So we're going to defeat the very first boss that we find in the game, which is the tree sentinel over there now you do not have to fight this boss at the very beginning of the game if you do not want to you can level up and come back here later but i always like to fight at the very beginning of the game because this just kind of helps me get warmed up for the rest of the game and also helps me understand the move set of the type of weapon that i'm choosing to use on this playthrough so as you can see he's on a giant golden horse and he has a giant golden halberd and a golden shield now i'm going to be talking about the moves that the tree sentinel will do while he does them the very first one is that charge slash you just got to roll through it very easy to dodge and then you have this jump attack and that jump attack actually will go into two different directions i'm almost dead already so as you can see the very first one is when he does that jump attack he'll actually be able to poke you with the top of the halberd as well what you want to do there is just roll out of the way of that and then you have this one and then he does the underhand attack and then the overhand slam after the overhand slam you can land a good three to five basic attacks depending on your weapon there and then just kind of run away afterward sometimes he'll walk up to you and do a basic halberd swing and then he does this charge again so basically you just want to make sure that you play carefully you want to make sure that you're not uh, just kind of going willy-nilly and attacking non-stop that's not what elden ring is about it's more about attacking at the right moments after the boss does their moves. It's more about reacting than acting, I would say, for a good 90% of the, the gameplay. As you can see, I'm really capitalizing on the uh, the big combo there. After he slams down the halberd, I'm able to land a good 3-4 attacks without any, any risk. So let's dodge that again. So far, I was hit twice, but that's okay. We're just getting our legs. That's the poke I'm talking about right there with that one. You can attack once or twice after he does that because most of the time he'll run away. But if he does not run away there, you want to make sure that you do because he can attack and do a lot of damage really quick as we've already seen. So we're just going to hit him twice here. And he's going to run away, so we're good. And we already got him down a quarter of his health. Dodge through that once again. Dodge through that once again. Now, generally speaking, I, I know this game well enough to where I can... I can find a lot more windows of opportunity to attack, but because this is going to be a very basic guide, I do not want anyone to take any unnecessary risks, so that way you can just kind of get through the boss in the easiest way possible. Now, we did see the horse stand up on its hind legs and then slam on the ground with its front legs. That attack will do damage to you, so you want to make sure that you're not near it when it does that. You can dodge it last second if you choose, but I would recommend just getting away from it. All right, we're at the point now where the tree sentinel is going to do the shield slams onto the ground. When you see those, uh, when you see that shield come out, you need to back away immediately. You do not want to be anywhere near the boss when it slams onto the ground. It has a massive area. It's actually rather deceiving, so make sure you back way up away from it. Get those attacks in. There's that ground slam. We rolled out of there. Here comes the swing. Now you see uh, the music just changed, so this means that Tree Sentinel is going into phase two. You'll be you'll often find a lot of bosses in this game have two phases, and a lot of the time you can see there's or hear their second phase by the music, or you'll see a physical change in them. And there was another shield slam as well as the halberd swing. We're able to dodge that. We have this. Here comes the poke. We dodge to the back, attack twice. I got hit by the shield slam because I dodged too early. You want to make sure that you're not panicking your dodges like I did there. Let's back it up. Here comes the jump attack. Here comes the poke. We attack. We dodge the shield slam. We back it up. There's another big shield slam. That has the widest range out of all of its attacks, that shield slam specifically. You need to be nowhere in the vicinity when the tree sentinel does that. Now, if you are using projectiles like magic or arrows, like some of the classes can start with, you need to be aware that the Tree Sentinel can deflect with his shield. He can deflect magic specifically, and uh, when he does deflect it, he'll actually send a holy attack back at you. So make sure that if you are sending projectiles towards him, that you are very ready to dodge after you cast your spells. 
There's the, the horse slam. There's another shield slam. You can attack after the shield slam if you get in quick enough, but I recommend just staying away. It's just not really worth getting in close to that because it does so much damage. There's this. There's the poke. We attack twice. There's a shield slam. We back up. Let's get a quick running attack. There's the, the, the horse lunge. And there's another overhead slam. So as you can see, a lot of this is just about the, the pacing of it, dodging most of the attacks, and just taking advantage of the open opportunities that you as a player will have after the Tree Sentinel finishes his own combos. Specifically when he does the overhand slam attacks with the halberd is the ones that you want to capitalize on the most. We're gonna get one attack there because he's gonna spin and shield slam. Or no, that was the horse slam. And then a shield slam. The biggest attack of opportunity is when he does this attack, but it's the underhand scoop into the overhand slam with the halberd. I'm actually going to wait to kill him until that specific moment, so that way you can see what I mean. Jump attack. There's the poke. We do not want that one. The attack I'm talking about is the widest opportunity you'll have to land a ton of damage. And specifically, note my positioning. I try to stay behind his right leg while he's doing the, uh, the attack, so that way... He'll do the uh, specific scoop and then overhand attack because that gives you the biggest opportunity to land your damage. I messed it up that time. When you do get behind his leg is when he has more opportunity to do the scoop part of that combo. So we're going to try to proc it here on his next leap attack. Sometimes it can be hard to roll into. Like right here, this should be good. It's not good. My mistake. Stay away from him. Dodge the basic swings. Here comes the jump. Why aren't you doing the scoop, Tree Sentinel? You're making me look bad, man. Stay away from the shield slams. Those things hurt a lot. That's a basic poke. Avoid that. Guys, he won't do the scoop. He won't do the scoop. I need him to scoop me up. I need him to do it so bad. Scoop me! Guys, he won't do it. Yeah, he knows. He knows that I need it right now. What the heck, Tree Sentinel? I'm waiting until he does it. I'm waiting until he does it. All right. This should be it right here. There it is. Now, wait. See how we stay to the back of his horse while he's doing that slam? I'm able to land a good three to five hits in that moment. And that's the moment that you want to take to land as much damage as possible. But do not get greedy. If you get greedy, he will punish you with a follow-up swing or horse lunge. Or maybe even a shield slam if he's in phase two. So after you land between three and five attacks, even if you do think you have time for that fifth attack, if you're cutting it close, you're best off just getting out of there, okay? And that is how you defeat the Tree Sentinel, even as a brand new character. Again, my character is only level 8, which is the very base level of the warrior starting class in Elden Ring. And we defeated him with no weapon advancements whatsoever. You can see my weapons are plus 1. Uh, everything is very minimal. I have no talismans, and I have just the basic starting stuff. And that is our guide for the Tree Sentinel at the very beginning of the game. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you next time.